Hello, my beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Welcome to your Zodiac reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in, Taurus. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's see what your message is. Please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. So we have the Tower. Uh-oh, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords... What's going on here, Taurus? Let's see. Whatever it is, just know that you'll get through it. Tell us more about this message. Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone's panicking. Someone's panicking. Someone's panicking. Um, lots of anxieties here. The Empress, someone's panicking. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, someone allowed their fear to really get the best of them, okay? In a horrible way. Like when you see the devil, the devil's a negative influencer. You see how these two people are chained to the devil? That's what the devil does. Um, the devil's a negative influencer. So when, when someone comes out as the devil card, they're being negatively influenced um, by a person, place, or thing, or by a feeling and emotion. You know, maybe your person got negatively influenced by jealousy, greed, right? Um, animosity. Something here was influencing your person to behave the way that they did. Or this could be you, Taurus. Maybe you allowed something negative to influence you. And you did something in your relationship that was very destructive. The first card we see here is the tower, right? It could represent a dramatic ending um, or like a major reveal, okay? I feel like there, there was someone in this situation, okay? Um, and I do feel like it's romantic. There was someone in this relationship or connection, we'll call it, who I feel passionately wants to be with the other person. And they allowed their fear of losing that person to cause them to do things that that may, may actually be the reason why they lose their person. So their fear of their fear of, of, of losing who they love caused them to making bad decisions that may be the reason why their person leaves them. Their fear of losing you may actually cause them to lose you. That fear of losing you has caused this person to maybe even be controlling. The devil could represent strong desires that lead to control issues, obsessions, possess, uh, possessiveness. This connection is a blessing. This person was rewarded with this connection because of all that they've been through. They've been through a lot with the Ten of Swords and they fought and fought and fought to receive this blessing, which is you. And in a way, they've, if they're not careful, they may forfeit something really good that was rewarded to them. I see that this person had to do immense work on themselves. Um, and that is why they were rewarded with this connection. You were a blessing. You were a gift to this person. But there's this fear of losing you, like the Eight of Cups. You getting up one day and saying, I don't want to be with you. Walking away from this person. The Eight of Cups is someone who's leaving, or leaving behind an investment. A person, place, or thing who they invested a lot of time, love, and effort into. The Three of Swords is separation, heartbreak, infidelity. Okay, you separating from this person, they feel like that's what you're about to do, actually. So they're panicking. Lots of anxieties here, lots of fear, doubts, insecurities. Wow, they're freaking out. They're freaking out that you don't want to be with them anymore. Or you could be the one freaking out that your person doesn't want to be with you anymore because you allow fear to control you and influence you and you may have done something to upset your person out of the fear of losing them. 
I feel like there's deep love. And I feel like the power of love can heal this. I don't feel like whatever was done was meant to, what was done in a malicious way. But it ended up hurting the other person. You know, and they're sitting here in the Nine of Swords panicking, having sleepless nights. Because maybe they found out that you know what they did. They see you as the Empress, the one and only Empress. There's only one Empress in the deck. The Empress is the most beautiful, the most powerful feminine energy in the deck. She's all four queens put together, so no one compares to the Empress. She's in her own league. This person has put you on a pedestal. You're their one and only love, the one and only person who they want to be with. No one else is on this person's mind but you. It has always been their dream to have a lover like you in their life. Like I said, this person went through a lot in the past. They suffered from betrayal and heartbreak and neglect, but they conquered, they overcame it. And because of that, I, I really believe that God has blessed them with a gift, the gift of love. Who wouldn't want love from an empress? She's known to be the mother, the nurturer, the caregiver. She's loving and she's kind. She's intuitive, she's mature, she's wise, she's abundant, she's fertile, fruitful, creative, artistic, balanced, stable, completely in harmony. The Empress is a very highly evolved feminine energy. This may even be someone who carries the energy of the divine feminine. I mean, you're, you're a prize. If you're the Empress, you are a prize that was... That was uh, rewarded to this person so losing you would be a big loss it would be a, a devastating loss it was always their dream to have a lover like you you are their you are their ideal person you are the one who they prayed for for many days many nights this person went on their knees and prayed for you and now that god has given you to them i feel like they messed up i don't feel like it was a mistake that was maliciously done to hurt you it was a mistake that was done out of greed, strong desires, possessiveness, control issues, maybe even obsession. It's always been their deepest desire, their deepest wish to have someone like you in their life. Three of Pentacles is a collaboration. Can you imagine being rewarded with, with an empress and you get to be with her and the two of you get to work together, support each other, learn from each other, invest in each other, collaborate with each other. You are, if you're the empress, you're such a priceless gift. This person treasures you, they cherish you, and they just made a mistake. And depending, excuse me, depending on how severe the mistake is, you might find it in your heart to forgive them because right now they feel like they've messed it up so bad that you wanna go, that you wanna leave. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Yeah. Wow. You were meant to be, if you're the Empress, you were meant to be their woman, their lover. <clears throat> it's like they hit the jackpot by receiving you. And I do feel like your person did the work to be with such, a, in, such an incredible um, woman like you. They did do the work. They really did. They did, they, they did do the work. They sow the seed and they reaped, right? You reap what you sow and that's you. And then when they finally got you, something happened here. I mean, three of pentacles, three of cups, you were meant to be a lover, a friend, and maybe even a work partner. Three of pentacles collaborating. Three of cups is more so of a personal getting together where money and finances aren't involved. So the empress, like I said, is all four queens put together. She can be whatever you want her to be. She can be the nurturer, the mother, the friend, you know, the lover. She could be the work partner, the business partner. I mean, the empress here, if this is you, you would have fit in so well in this person's life. And in a way you did. I feel like in a way you did. I feel like you helped this person personally, professionally, financially. You helped make this person a better person is what I'm trying to say here. 
you are truly a diamond. And they're sorry. I mean, this person is, they're, they're shaken up, okay? At the thought of you leaving. Let's look at the tower. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it was their fault. They carry the burdens. They are sorry. Oh my gosh. The Knight of Cups represents um, apologies, making amends, trying to make things right. Yeah. They want to make amends. They want to, they want to apologize. They want to apologize. And they are taking accountability for what happened. What happened here? The fool, okay. They're wondering, what do you know, right? So maybe it was it was a big thing that they did, multiple things, several things that they did, because they're wondering what parts of the story did you hear? The Five of Cups, regrets, crying over spilled milk. What did they do though? Let me see. What did they do? Four of Cups, that was the Four of Cups rejection. What did they do to cause this power here? Let's see if we can get some insight. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Wow. What in the world? Nine of Wands. Huh? What did they do? Oops. Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Four of Wands. The relationship. The commitment. It feels like this person was battling you. I feel like this person was an adversary. They they try to challenge you in some way. I don't I don't believe that the situation had to do with cheating or infidelity. Okay? So if this is your reading, I don't see that your person cheated. There's no third parties here. But what I do see is they were trying to challenge you so much to the point where um the Queen of Wands is in the reverse. I know what this person tried to do, but I don't want to say it that way and make it worse, make the situation worse. Yeah, they, they didn't support you. They didn't support you in something that you wanted. And I almost feel like they wanted to take your power. They wanted to um, assert themselves over you, dominate you, blow out your flame. You know, the Queen of Wands in the upright is someone who's very... Um, ambitious the king and queen of wands of the deck they're very ambitious action oriented confident optimistic powerful i feel like this person was trying to blow out your flame take away your passion and your power because maybe you were working towards something and they didn't want you to get it they weren't supportive community is all about support they tried to challenge you and stand in the way of something that you were pursuing. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. I mean, there's something about you that's very passionate. Like when you want something, that spark is ignited, okay? When you want something, that spark is ignited and you go for it. But I feel like they wanted to hold you back or slow you down, put some obstacles in your way. But of course they were hiding their hand when they were doing this. <sighs> Let me see here what this person could have done. I feel like they tried to make something very hard for you. Official person? Hmm. I feel like they're trying to make something very hard for you to reach or, or, or overcome. They try to do official person okay occupation yeah there's an it has to do with your endeavor it has to do with your profession your dreams your goals that you were working towards you were passionately pursuing something here official person and then the official people 
they're very like well composed, maybe stoic, structured. Uh, they're typically in a uniform because of their job duty, or maybe these are people who are in suits and ties, right? Um, but it has to do with your occupation, indeed. It had to do with your occupation, your work life, and you take those things very seriously. I feel like you're a very well accomplished person, or you would like to become a well accomplished individual, and your person didn't support your dreams. And I see here that they were like in the background trying to sabotage you, but hide their hands. So it's like you had an enemy right under or an, an adversary right under your nose. Oh my gosh. What I say, main male. His partner is main female, number two. Wow, this is your lover, the one who means the most to you, the number one person in your life. And what comes with this main male is great fortune. This could very much be a relationship that's meant to be, but the way they acted, they messed up. Why? Why did they do this? Why did they want to challenge you? Why were they trying to hold you back? It feels like they wanted you to give up from whatever, give up on what you were pursuing. Yeah, the child card is here, which represents, it could represent an actual child or something new, like a new job, a new beginning for you. Yeah, so why, why were they trying to stand in the way? Or do they want a child and they feel like if you were to get this occupation, get this job, right? You wouldn't, you guys wouldn't be able to settle down and have a child. I mean, why would they do this? Poverty. Oh, maybe that's why. I feel like maybe this person's ready to settle down. Toil and labor. And they don't want you to work. Okay, you need to have a talk with your person if you believe this message is for you because I feel like right now they're at a place in their life where they want to settle down and have children and ha start a family. You want to get started on your occupation. Yeah, you want to focus on your occupation. They want to, they want a baby. And they feel like they wouldn't get that chance to start a family with you around this time if you do get in that occupation. And there's something here, toil and labor. This may be something that takes a whole lot of your time, this occupation. It may take a whole lot of your time. It may be some hard work here, hard labor or whatever it is. And they just don't like that for you because they want to have this child. Unexpected income, sudden wealth. Mature woman. See, it's like you have two blessings coming in. Whoa, you do. You have two blessings coming in. I feel like unexpected income is actually an unexpected pregnancy. It's a blessing. But then you also have material wealth that's coming towards you. Maybe because of this job. And look, mature woman is typically a mother, mother figure. It's like you have two things coming to you at the same time. Your life is going to change in a major way. Privileged lady, that's you. But expectation, false person. False person, why is the false person card here? Are you not being honest about something? 
her man. You see, that's your partner. Your partner sees you as a false person because you're not wanting what they thought you wanted, imprisonment. It's like, was there a change of plans? Was there a change of plans? Was the plan to settle down and start a family and then you chose another path suddenly? It was unexpected. Imprisonment. Courtship. Yeah, because you were supposed to be... This is interesting. Was the, was the initial plan to, I mean, imprisonment and courtship, right? Like marry this person, settle down, focus on your relationship. But now that's not what you want anymore. You're more so focused on work. But the thing is, you can have both. It just, it's going to be a lot on your plate. I'll tell you that. Family room. I feel like there's two blessings coming in, settling down and starting a family with your lover and then something with career and finances. But your person's fighting for you to only have one of those things and not the other. Settling down and having a family, bad health. Would you have the time to settle down and have a family? If you do take this, this career opportunity, because bad health is here, right? You have to be honest with yourself. Would the workload be too much? Too much stress while having a family or trying to have a baby? marriage yeah because I feel like there was a path that you were supposed to take and that was the path to settle down with your lover get married have kids look wealthy man is here which is why your person doesn't want you to go take this path because they feel like that would come in the way of the two of you settling down and that's well understood if that was the initial plan. Gift. This was what you wanted. You did pray and manifest a lover. Your lover is here and they expect you to be focusing on them, the relationship, and starting a family. This was what you wanted. This was what you asked for. But it feels like something is now taking a turn. It seems like some sort of su surprise came in. Unexpected income. Something popped in unexpectedly. So it's is it going to change the course of your path? Page of Swords. That's what you're wondering. Page of Swords is curiosity. That's what your person's also wondering. Is it going to change the course of your path? Because it looks like you don't have to work. It looks like your, per your person's a wealthy man. So it looks like the original plan that you manifested was you meet your lover, your counterpart, you get with them, you live a well-off life, you have kids, settle down, right? Married, settle down, have kids, you know? But then it looks like something came in unexpectedly. You got to be honest with yourself. Is that what happened? Something came in unexpectedly. Another way that I can read that, another way that I can read this, just to give you options, another way that I can read this is there's family obligations because mature man is here. This doesn't have to be your main male. Mature man could be a father, father figure. 
imprisonment and courtship. Courtship is coming together. It doesn't have to be romantic. Another way that I can read this is this work situation is out of your hands. And it actually has to do with family obligations that you are taking on, that you're taking on. Maybe you're inheriting something. I just feel like it's unexpected because family room and bad health, someone like you have a relative who's not in a good condition and maybe you're going to have to take on their responsibilities. It's unexpected. But then look, sudden wealth. It's a good thing financially. But you're having to take on a lot of responsibilities all of a sudden, which is why you're showing up as a mature woman. Yeah, that's another option where this career occupation, maybe it's not something that you chose, but it's something that you're inheriting. Um, It's like you're getting two gifts at the same time. The gift of love. Actually, I feel like, and then with child, this could be that you are someone's child. It could represent the child that you're meant to have with your lover or you are the child to this mature man. Right? But I... <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying. <clears throat> oh my gosh <clears throat> that came out of nowhere you guys I was not choking I wasn't I wasn't eating or drinking anything and I'm not sick but all of a sudden I felt something in my throat um oh my gosh <clears throat> what was that um what I was gonna say is it just looks like this is not a negative thing. It looks like you have two blessings coming in at the same time, okay? And that's career finance and love. You manifested both things at the same time. So when you were manifesting love, you were also manifesting wealth and success. And so they're both coming to you at the same time. Some of you really have that blessing of fertility where when you want something, it happens. Some of you really are blessed and highly favored where when you pray for something, it happens. And it looks like you prayed for, for two things here hard. You prayed for these two things hard and they're coming in at the same time. They're manifesting in your life at the same time. And I really do feel like it, it's career finance and love, family. Love and success. Money, you're getting them both. I feel like when it comes to your work life, it's connected to a mature man who is connected to you. Maybe you don't know him though, and that's why he's showing up as false person. He's hidden for now. And that's why all of this is so unexpected for you. Right? Or maybe you do know him, but you didn't know his story. But you have you have like career and finance, and it's coming from a relative. A mature man could be a father, father figure, grandfather, godfather, mentor, elder. Yeah. It's a gift. It's a gift. It is a gift. Even with wealthy man and marriage, I can read this in so many ways. The wealthy man could be this mature man who you are taking on some sort of job role obligation from. It could also, in the marriage is a joint venture. It could be with your lover or it could be with this mature man, a father, father figure. Like this is, you have two prominent men in your life. One must be hidden, false person. 
Okay, one must be hidden, but now they are now you're aware of them because something is unexpected when it comes to this mature man. When it comes to your career and finances, it was unexpected because you were so focused on your lover here, getting this love of your life. But I feel like you have two important masculine energies here. And let me tell you this, your lover is not, help, not happy with that. He's number one. So he wants you to focus on him. He's the main male in your life. But there's another man here who I feel could be father, grandfather, you know, some sort of father figure. You manifested this. It's not a curse. It's not anything bad. You're getting double blessed, double, double the blessing, two blessings coming in. So you'll need great management skills so that you can nurture both aspects of your life when it comes to your love life and your career, your career life, your work life. You need to nurture both. Don't neglect one or the other or your husband here or someone who's meant to be your husband, they're going to get very upset. Don't neglect your work life either because you have a father, father figure who has given you some responsibilities and obligations. And I feel like you're gonna like it financially, I'm just saying. So you have two men here. And hubby over here, the masculine, the main male, your lover here is not happy with that. He wants you to focus on him and him only. You're wondering what's going on in your life. And the universe is like, you tell us, Taurus. <laughs> you tell us, Taurus. You manifest. Didn't I say it? The star is manifestation or wish fulfillment. The magician is man manifestation. You have both manifesting cards. The magician is a manifester, someone who knows how to utilize their tools and resources. You have the gift of manifestation. That's a powerful gift. And also be careful what you ask for. But I feel like you did very well for yourself. You're getting two powerful gifts and blessings, but two powerful masculine figures in your life. A lover and a father figure. This is what you asked for. And you waited for it patiently. Page of Swords is waiting. It also represents delays. And look, they're both coming in. Oh my gosh. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to end the reading here. We are going to continue it in the extended. Um, yeah, we're going to continue it in the extended. The link to the extended will be in the description box. I will also pin it in the comment section, or you can simply click the middle thumbnail on the screen and it will take you right to the extended. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in, Taurus, my beautiful, lovely, powerful, strong Taurus. I'm wishing you guys the best. Take care and many blessings to you. I'll see you guys in the extended.